Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. It is that Monday night edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. We are live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitters. And as usual with me once again from Pooh, Kipsy, New York, he is the only one of us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, future endeavored by the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Oh, yeah, Sorg, it's Monday, and you know what that means? I complain about Raw. Oh, boy, and maybe <laughs> maybe you won't be alone in that tonight. Maybe. Ma- ma- maybe. Uh, well, no, it is Monday night, and of course, you can check out everything if you just discovered us. We're at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to the WWE Raw Wrap-Up on your iTunes and all the places where you can find your podcasting. And you can check out all the shows we have in the wrestling world, including getting all your Mayhem Mania fixes over at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed, wherever fine podcasts are sold. And of course, the, we stream here at Monday night, minutes, if it, if it works out, minutes after Monday Night Raw on Facebook Live for the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. Like the page, follow the page, make sure you get all of the notifications on what's going on so that uh, you can be a part of it. Just like Dave is, uh, he gets us, I think, I think right before he goes to bed, because I know he's got, we're way past his bedtime, uh, as well as Billy Johnson out there in West Virginia. And let's see who else is out there. Wheels down in California, PA, and uh, other people join us here throughout the night. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this conversation. So Raw was a Raw. I, You know, I, we are coming off of, I want to I temper two, two, two points on this before we get into the conversation. One, mm-hmm. we're coming off of basically a, a, a Raw after WrestleMania kind of feel. Uh, because, I mean, it's the Raw after Rumble. It's setting up for Mania. So there was a lot happening. And it was a fun Raw last week, right? Um, and also, okay. And also, how I feel about Raw and wrestling is very much tempered by my mood. Uh-huh. And... I am very tired. I just want to put that out there. If I'm if if, if I'm surprisingly nonplussed with things that happened tonight, I'm very very tired. Uh, but if, if you were tired, this was not a raw for you. No, it was not. It's not something that's going to wake you up. It's not something that is going to really get into that until until friend of the show, friend of Pittsburgh wrestling, Elias is in the main event. And wins. And wins. And still we get amazing uh, uh, brawnness afterwards. I feel like they went home a little early. Um, I feel like maybe they forgot to cut away from Raw. And we got a little bit of that weird uh, fan uh, uh, pleasing part going on you know it, it's funny because at one point when when braun was like listening to the fans and and delivered i don't even know how many power slams at the end um i i think john told uh, uh elias to go get, to get out of the ring uh because he saw him roll out and then it was just one of those son of a bitch he's pulling me back in kind of spots <laughs> probably yeah it, so- it sounds right so Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we by all... the way, yes, by the way, Dave, a happy Rusev Day to you, too. Oh, happy Rusev Day. And I'm sorry, I, I'm used to calling wheels from California. I was just reading your post about being in Monongahela for the last nine, nine months. But I never say Monongahela right. I think I'm saying it right. How do you say it in New York? Uh, Monopoly. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. See, I told you I wouldn't get it right. But Monopoly anyways. hernia. That's that's what we say here. Monopoly hernia. <laughs> Monopoly hernia. That sounds about right. Yeah, you know. Uh, but anyway, don't you know? No, that's a different region entirely. Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, Carnegie is from Monopoly hernia. They, we're not starting with that. We're not starting with that. <laughs> but anyways, as we were saying, but no, it was a, uh, the the main event. I thought worked out really well. I, it was a lot of fun. Um, and now our boy Elias is going to be the last in at the Elimination Chamber. And he's going to get immediately eliminated by John Cena. You know, so... he might. He might. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but, see, here's my hope. 
here's my hope, and I don't think they're going to do this because it would distract the match. Picture, if you will, Sorg. Elias plays his guitar for the entirety of the match until his pod opens. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Picture, got, if you will, a 20-minute Elias concert where he's doing commentary on the match he is in. That'd be great. Like, does he have just, he has the piece, right? Picture it. He he has to. He has the microphone. He gets in there. Like Elias does not need to win the elimination chamber. No, we want him to win. Let's, let's let's be clear. We do want him to win. But Absolutely. In yeah. no in no semblance, Elias does not ever need to be the guy. He does not need to be John Cena. He does not need to be the champion even to be Elias and amazing. He is the new age honky tonk man with talent on at least two fronts. Is is this the quickest WWE built star from NXT who's gotten a title shot in a long time? Has to be, right? Which is I'm not, so talking, you're not, I'm not talking Finn. like your your Samoa Joe's or your Finn Balor. Right, right. They company. came from somewhere. I I mean and yeah. Great lineage in in their international wrestling cartel in the Pittsburgh area, sure. But this well, yeah, character, but he was never he yeah. was never Elias Samson like there, like like this is a WWE character born and built, right? Right, like, absolutely. This is a quick chance at a world title for for a character oh, like this. I mean, he just hit the nerve entirely, right? And it just works so well. It's something he's a honky tonk man who can work. He is, and sing, and play, yep. and not come out in a in a onesie. He's and he controls the crowd, mm -hmm. like Jesus. I mean, granted, it's, it, if you have the right gimmick, it can be really easy to control a crowd. But he has not faltered I, once. I I I made a tweet out uh, tonight when I wasn't getting interested because it was that main event uh, and him that did that. Uh, I can't think of uh, somebody who can equally have the crowd cheer and then boo them equally other than Vince, Vince McMahon himself in the same segment. Uh, Miz can do it. Mm. Miz can do it. Miz is good. I am not going to discount the Miz. Hi, Chris LaRusso. I'm not going to discount the Miz on his, on his tactics and crowd work. But I think the swing on Elias uh, tonight is an example. Uh, I can go anecdotal across the board. You want to get you know big on it, but um, I think tonight it was the biggest like full cheer. There's like Hulk Hogan cheering to Vicky Guerrero booing, almost, mm -hmm. almost. Mm hmm. I can't think of anybody else that can be that that good at it. Kevin Owens is pretty good at it too. Uh, no, no, Kevin Owens. I mean, but I mean, Kevin the, Owens the names is... we're mentioning. The names we're mentioning, like that's the echelon he's in. Right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's like... in the conversation. Either way, agree with me or not, he is in the conversation, and that's amazing. That's amazing. I, I'd say he's WWE champion, like the Universal Champion, within a year and a half. And now there was uh, what's up, Brandon? As long as, long as it stays off a of part timer. What's up, Brandon from the KC? Uh, Dave's saying uh, that he is thick enough and tall enough not to uh, seem too small next to Cena and Braun, and that's impressive sure. too. I, and again, I, I was throwing I, every once in a while, especially when he's doing great on Raw. I mean, I got to do my job, and uh, I'm pulling up old matches of him in IWC, uh, one against Facade up in Clearfield. You know, to promote the stuff that we're doing. I'm like, hey, you know, look at look at this guy before he was WWE and stuff like that, right? And uh, and and he talked about it on the Stone Cold podcast about how he got there, and and, and even Edge and Christian and Johnny Gargano were saying on their podcast this week about you get to the Performance Center and it's just like madness what they're doing to these people's bodies in there. It's a you know it used to be it used to be like you know all the wrestlers look the same uh, uh, coming out of whatever their their Performance Center was before, right? Um, especially the, the mid two thousands. That now it's like you know they all look different, but they all look ripped. Mm -hmm. And then and you know he's he, he's added size, and you're right. He, he looks like he can hang with 
you know, a, a John Cena size wise and everything. Like that. I mean, that classic WWE size. And you look at his old matches and he was not near that, like even at his biggest. So, um, OK, other than that, other than our, our local guy, Elias uh, fanboyism here, um, let's let's talk about the fact that Alexa Bliss um, is completely 100 percent right. <laughs> And Alexa Bliss stole every single talking point that I was going to have for this week's show. So we should just play. Okay. She is amazing. Okay, recap. But there's Re- one thing. Yes. There's one thing they didn't do that they should have done. Okay. And Alexa should have been a smart enough heel to do this, but they can't for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Alexa Bliss basically told Kurt Angle that Kurt Angle was being a sexist because she had to defend her title in Elimination Chamber, but Brock Lesnar did not. Right. Angle said that Alexa hadn't defended her title on pay-per-view since October, and Alexa was like, "How? whose fault is that? That's your fault, Kurt. You've been booking the matches. Again, 100% true. Yeah. Then, 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 so then Kurt tried to curry the favor by saying, okay, fine. I didn't take that into consideration. I'm sorry. Let's ask the WWE Universe if they want Alexa to defend the belt in Elimination Chamber. Fine. I have no, I have no issues with the segment up until this point. And, and they asked the crowd. Obviously, the crowd chants, yes, they all want that. But here's where Alexa has to shut her mouth because if she says if she says anything in line with her character the entire bit falls apart right because alexa needs to go to kurt she's like okay now ask them if they want brock to do the same because i get on damn d that chat is going to be not only the same volume but probably louder. Right. Who wouldn't want to see Brock Lesnar in the Elimination Chamber? Exactly. Especially when the other guys who would be in that Elimination Chamber, John Cena, Braun Strowman, Elias, Miz, and... Let's hope mm, Finn Balor. Yeah, well, no, there's another one I'm forgetting. I completely forgot. Oh, that's already in there? Um, Obviously, because they're doing a second chance thing next week. Yeah. I can't remember who it is. That's uh, I'll find it. Because, oh, because... Roman. What's that? Roman. Roman. Oh, yeah, that's right. Roman got today. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why I forgot him because he's going to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's sad. But, but I mean, and that's the point where the whole bit lost me. It lost me completely because Alexa is exactly right as most heels in WWE are. Like, if you're really honest with it, if you look at even from a kayfabe storyline, story not even being an asshole about it, most heels are correct. Mm-hmm. That should not be the case. Well, most, no, 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 that shouldn't be. The you're case. right, but you I can, don't like the fact that have, you're right. You exactly. <laughs> that's exactly my point, Sorg. I'm being a heel and I'm being correct. I should mm-hmm. not be correct. Like I it, should th- I should think that I'm right. I shouldn't actually be right. No, no, no. That's the distinction. No, that's the distinction. So no, because... does wait. So does I, you know, does IRS really say anything wrong in the long run? No, he's just an asshole. But he's, a, but he's also, but he's also not in major storylines. Okay. Okay. And, and that was back in the time where, you were literally just a walking, like, um, a, 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 an occupation, like an occupation hyperbole. Everyone was a was an <laughs> occupation hyperbole. No, like okay. a tax man, like okay. like everyone's a tax cheat. No one, not everyone is a tax cheat. Like, like uh, it's just I don't know. By the way, occupation hyperbole is the name of my new alt rock band, Sorg. It's also the name of the show. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but, uh, like, uh, and Nia Jax not being in the Elimination Chamber, what the ever-loving fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. she gets screwed. She gets screwed. She really does. Like, oh, uh, Nia, we're, we're not going to put you in this match that you could obviously probably win because guess what? You get to fight Asuka. Yay. Yay. Well, I mean, it, it's 
it's not like we haven't seen this because I think we did see this in NXT, right? We saw it like two weeks ago. Did we see? Yeah, we did. We did, and it was that was a weird kind of injury angle they did with her, right? Yeah, I know. It's just th- there's got to be something else we can do. Mm-hmm. There's, there's got to be something else we can do. Absolutely, I mean, and and it's good to see the women are being featured in like three segments tonight. Um, <laughs> somebody was just mentioned before the my my laptop battery went um, about uh, Alexa and Mickey. Uh, that so that I mean that's just a play at this point, right? A little bit of callback because they, you know, uh, Alexa brought Mickey back as that lucha. Oh yeah, Alexa's Smackdown. looking for Alexa's looking for some kind of ally in the elimination chamber. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all that is. That's all that is. That's fine. I, I although, because I mean, if you look at Sasha and Bailey, are going to be aligned at least for a little bit, probably. Right. Right. And you have the other two people from Absolution who are going to be aligned in there a little bit. Makes sense. But yeah. So what else? What else kind of got your attention from Raw tonight? Uh, that's not a grunt worthy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a grunt worthy. Yes. Um. Any any Raw that has two Roman Reigns matches needs to go away. There were two. There were two. There were two. There I came. Two. I came in part way. I, I was about a quarter, uh, quarter after. By the time I came in, I was able to turn it on. So. Yeah. Any any raw where almost an hour of your three hour show is a Roman Reigns match, <laughs> you can kindly <laughs> fuck oh, that's off. Not, that's not okay. Yeah. See, the thing is, they're not bad matches. I'm not saying anything about Roman's in ring performance. I'm not saying anything about that. I just don't like the Roman Reigns of it all. I don't like the Roman Reigns of it all. <laughs> I don't like how he's being booked because he's like okay, okay. Uh, well, well, yeah. Let's go around to something that I think he will like. Rockstar Spud was on Monday Night Raw, sir. Yeah, he was very exciting. Good and for him. I did. I did like that he said there are going to be some surprises in the cruiserweight tournament. Well, as it is, I mean, you know, I don't. We haven't really got had a chance uh, because a lot of it came out roughly when we were doing um, Mayhem Show last week. But mm-hmm. I mean, we're getting like, um, you know, Tyler Bate was in the first round already. Roderick Strong's in the first round, so I, I can, I like the idea that they're they're kind of you know mixing it up a little bit. It's like it is a cruiserweights, but we're also fleshing it out with people from other divisions. That are doing this. I'm trying to get rid of. Sorry, I'm juggling. I'm just, I'm, I'm just tr- really worried. Why that, that one of these? Surpri- I'm really worried that one of these surprises is going to be Finn Balor. Is it going to? No. How I'm is very, he cruiserweight? I'm. Yeah, of course he is. No. Look at that. Not look with at those that man. abs. That man has not had a carb since 2005. That of course true. he's under 205. That's true. That's right. That's right. Lego building is his anti drug and his anti carb. Yeah, like that. I'm terribly concerned about that. <laughs> because as of right now, where is Finn Balor on this WrestleMania card, Sorg? Well, no. Uh, yeah, and and I think the answer is nowhere. Yeah, yeah. That's that's probably a, that's probably not great. But imagine, just imagine, if there's Finn Balor versus I don't know Hideo Itami for the cruiserweight title. I buy it. I would too, but then I'd be like, "Oh, Finn Balor's never going to be a heavyweight champion again." Mm-hmm. Maybe <laughs> Neville. Maybe Neville says wheels. Oh, I, I, I don't know where I'd fall on that. <laughs> I like Neville a lot, but we had a lot of Neville. We did, we did, and I, I think he'd be worth coming back. I think he did a lot for it. Johnny Wrestling. What is he late? Yeah, he was in the Cruiserweight Classic. That's true. Uh, Dave, sign me up for that. I'd be okay with mm-hmm. that. But I have a feeling he's going to be busy that weekend. Th- th- that is true. What if uh, what if one of the surprises is Rey Mysterio? I don't think he's over. I don't. No, I don't. I, really? No, he's smaller than he is. is. He's smaller than no. he used to be. I don't think he's that much smaller though. Mm. He's still, he's still a lot older. Well, yeah, but he's he's not as buff. He's in he's definitely in better shape even the, from Lucha Underground days. That's um, true, but so. I don't think he makes the weight requirement. I I'm, 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 let's see what Wikipedia says. Uh, he weighs in at nope, not going to tell me there. Thanks a lot there, Google. Um, <laughs> why isn't yeah? I guess I guess weights aren't usually on a Wikipedia page for 
Not really, because it, it can fluctuate. It can fluctuate. Yeah, it's hard to keep up but, on. Oh, he I mean, is, uh, oh, his build rate. His build weight is 175 pounds, sir. Yeah. When was that? In 1993. Oh, let's check the reference. According to Rey Mysterio's bio, retrieved April 25th, 2011. Yeah, so that's that's not really accurate. Um, Wheels says Ricochet, which is he uh, small okay? Enough? Yeah. Of course he is. I I can't. How can you tell me Ricochet is and Mysterio isn't? That 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 doesn't. That science doesn't work for me. That pro wrestling fake science doesn't work for me. Well, Sorg, you just. I am a scientist. I know these things. <laughs> part, also, partially no, I, fake no, science. I, I think the last time Ray was in WWE, he was billed at like two twenty five or something like that. Mm. So, I, I mean, he could have dropped Anyways, to that. He could have dropped to that. Ray Ray's weight that. gate aside, uh, yes. where did you fall tonight on Raw's watchability? Oh, 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 I don't know. Um, I, I'm all here for Miz calling out Brock Lesnar, though. That was that was really good. Well, everybody should be right mm-hmm. at this point. Miz, Miz should be champion of everything. Of course. Like, he should even be half the tag champs with either Bo or Curtis. Okay. I, I'm. He has been the most consummate performer. And, like, I'm already saying Miz's unborn daughter should be Asuka. <laughs> Just I love I the have... point with tonight where he said that his, his daughter is it going to be, right? Yeah. He is going to be born just in time to see him as a double champion. It's amazing. Miz, Miz is the best person in wrestling right Hashtag now. Hashtag squad goals. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm going to go an hour and a half. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to say an hour 15. Mm-hmm. Hour 15. He's of... me. You're trying to $1 prices white my ass here? No, I'm taking off at least an hour for all that Roman Reigns bullshit. Yeah, okay, okay. All right. Uh, and um, again, just, just things didn't get me excitable um, in my, in my uh, tired state. So... Yeah, this was a very off. let's push Roman Reigns raw. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> the picture of everybody backstage. There was something. There was something about like the picture of of Jason Jordan smiling, and then Kurt, and then Roman, and then Seth seemed very. I don't know. It's because I was I was listening to uh, '80s theme music uh, this morning with uh, Perfect Strangers and Mr. Belvedere, but it just had that, like, that's the freeze, that's the freeze at the end of everybody's having a good time and everything worked out it, on the sitcom. It was the backstage version of what happened at the end of WrestleMania nine. Like what? Like with, with, with Brett being injured mm-hmm. and Hulk Hogan coming out to avenge him and Brett saying, go, <laughs> And everyone's like, okay, I guess this is happening now. Because for some reason, Roman Reigns earned a tag title shot. Why? Nobody knows. Yeah, he's Roman Reigns. He can do that. But anyways, yeah. and he's a buddy. And he's kind of the same faction and whatnot. So sure. there is no faction. There is no faction. There's no faction. There's no faction. He's, there back, is to no being, sp- he's back to there, being the uh, only one that's making that vest look trendy. None of them come out to the shield music anymore. They still come out to their old regular theme songs. Some of although one of them is Burn it down. One of them is still although man, I can't watch Seth Rollins anymore with his new gear without yelling at least once during the match, liar liar, pants on fire. <laughs> and now you can't either. Uh, I hope Jason Jordan says that once. <laughs> Somebody has to. Somebody it's has got, to. It's got to be Jason Jordan. It has to be. It might be the greatest thing since uh, the cocaine reference I saw on an old WWE call it CM video on the I, WWE I can't, Network I can't, today. I can't wait until the bar is allowed to wrestle someone who wasn't a member of the Shield. Mm-hmm. I mean, right? Because I, I'm tired of the Shield. Yeah. Again, I, I, I was okay when they came back, and then Dean got injured, and. Kurt joined for some reason, then Triple H joined for some reason. I'm just done with it. Well, now they're just, just loosely affiliated Shield. Now they're just no, like... no, no. They're sheesh, sheesh, Shieldish, 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 Shieldish. Yeah. Hmm. Mad Mike, where yeah. can people find you online? 
You can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machines, and also uh, we gotta talk about starting up that midweek war thing again. Because yeah, NXT, might be time. NXT's pretty good. Rockstar Spuds bringing two hundred five live back. I, I think it, I think it might be time. I think it might be time. So might be, might be, might be time to talk about that midweek action as well. <laughs> we just really roll SmackDown into midweek war at this point, and I, and we something. could roll mixed match challenge. Yes, absolutely. I think I think that's where because, it needs to oh, be. Do I have things to talk about? Mixed match challenge. Oh, jeez. And uh, maybe oh, we will my. tomorrow. Wrestling Mayhem show comes at you 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, comedian referee. Uh, com- comedian slash or hyphen or comedian comma referee. Uh, Dave David Fedora is going to be joining us here in the studio. He works with the KSWA. Uh, and we might have done some work some 15 years ago on comedy. Uh, but uh, before the days of the Wrestling Mayhem show. So it'll be good to have a, an old face, an old face for me uh, in here and introduce him to uh, you guys, the Mayhem Show audience. He's got a sweet sag. If you check it, look him up on, on the Instagram. He's got a sweet like wrestling room. Um, a lot of lot of stuff in there. It looks really, really cool. I think it's DS Fedor. I know it on the Twitter, probably also on the on the Instagrams too. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And we have, of course, the Mayhemies voting is happening right now. You can go sure. to WrestlingMayhemShow.com, click on that. You can watch the uh, IndieWrestling.us. I want to see if I can get this right. Um, award for Excellence in Independent Professional Wrestling. Uh, you can vote for that. You can vote for the best dress. You can vote for the best Indie Mayhem Show uh, interview of the year, the best moment of the year. Go do that, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Look for the Mayhem he's post on there. And, of course, the Mayhem Mania is started and in full swing. Feelings are going to get hurt, and Mad Mike will probably be involved. So are, can, can I have my stump speech to, to for Mayhem for the Mayhemies? Here? Sure. Yeah, you can yeah. do that here. Right, right here. All right. right. Yeah, yeah. We'll exit on this. My fellow Mayhemers. Hi, Mad Mike here. Also known as the guy who yells. Um, yeah. Listen, I, I, I don't ask a lot. Um, I'm the only person who I've told, I've said this repeatedly. Whenever you see me in public at a wrestling event, you are allowed to chop me. I allow you the mayhem universe to impose physical violence on my person. Yeah. I don't allow many people that option. We used to let everybody do it. Yeah, I know, but, but not anymore. You guys have all soured on that. Mm. I'm the only one who upholds the traditions that that this podcast was founded on. And I've never won a mayhem for co-host of the year. We had to stop before Pittsburgh became a war zone of shops. Well, I mean, at least it's not Philly where people are flipping cars. But, but uh, Sorg, I think I, I, I need this. I need this. I, I brought us Lucha Underground, damn it. Mm-hmm. I brought us Lucha Underground. I got Sorg and Alex Cars on, into the temple. Wheels, you vote for Missy. Okay. Okay, if you don't vote for me, vote for Missy. I endorse that. I also a I vote for Missy Riz. is a vote for Mad Mike is what you're saying. Yes. Just don't vote for Riz. <laughs> Just don't. What has Riz done for you? Ooh, he plays games. I am the fucking game. Get it? Get it. Wrestling, Mad Mike, back. check him out. Vote for him on the Mayhemies. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, chat room, for being a part of this. And keep it raw. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.